Okay, well, let's see how to prepare mutton curry today. I have 1 kg lean goat meat, some peppercorns for spiciness, 1 star on each pod, some cashew, some groundnuts, fennel seeds, cumin seeds, some sticks of cinnamon, some 4 to 5 cardamom, half coconut grated, and then cloves. Cooking, I've used groundnut oil, then some chili, some green chili. Then instead of shallot, I have normal onion, but shallot is preferred. Then two onions cut, one tomato cut. Then salt for taste. Coriander leaves, mint leaves, some curry leaves, turmeric powder. The chili powder two types, one spicy and one medium spicy, ginger garlic paste and then coriander powder. First in the cooker I add 50 ml of oil. And then let's fry all the spices together for a couple of minutes. Yeah, so just fry it for a couple of minutes. Then add the curry leaf and then again fry for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to get the coconut, grated coconut in. So then again fry this for two to three minutes. Till it's light brown and then transfer that into a plate for cooling. Yeah, so like that, spread it out so that it gets cooled fast. Now let's fry the shallots or in this case I have normal onion, one big onion cut. So I'm going to pour some oil. And then take this one onion cut for frying. Instead of that it can be shallots. Fry this again to light, ground, light brown and then transfer this into the same plate where the spices are kept for cooling. A bit of salt will hasten the process. There it is now, it's all spread on the plate for cooling. Now for the main cooking, I have done 150 ml of, uh, 150 ml of oil in the cooker. And then let's start frying the onions first. Add some salt and fry it till it is light brown color. Get that ginger garlic paste in and fry it for two to three minutes so that the raw taste of ginger garlic paste goes. Once done, get the chilies in, green chilies and then fry for another two to three minutes. The last is the tomato to get in. Fry this again for two to three minutes. Put the coriander and the mint leaves inside and then fry this for another two to three minutes. The mint, mint leaf goes in. So just fry this entire thing for another two to three minutes. Now 
Now it's time to get the powders in. So first the chili powders gets in. Put the chili powder. And the coriander powder. And the last one is the turmeric powder. And then fry this again for two to three minutes. Now we need to make a paste of the cooled content. So let's look at the plate and see whether everything is cooled down. So transfer that into a jar, mixy jar, and then make a nice paste out of it. So like that, now transfer this paste into the cooker. Just pour some water and give a wash so that the contents don't go waste. Like that, and then mix it up properly. See the consistency, if you want to add water, please do that and then salt for taste. Also you can add Kashmiri chili powder here if you want a little more addition color. It's optional purely. Check the salt and see if it's okay and if not you can add a little more salt. Once done, now it's time to get the mutton pieces in. So let's get the mutton pieces in. So like that. It's nice lean goat meat what we have today. So give a mix properly and then allow this to boil, cook for five minutes on high flame before you cover it with the lid. Now cook this mutton for 20 to 25 minutes or 4 whistles and by this time the mutton should have nicely got cooked. So let's check it out. It looks all nice and yummy. You can garnish with little more of, little more of uh, coriander leaves. And at this stage if you want a little more spiciness add pepper powder and also add some 1 spoon of garam masala. So let's check it out how it is done. Yeah, it seems to be all nice and cooked. So now it's ready to serve with hot rice for your, to your families and friends. Happy eating. I hope you like this video. If you like, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.